point i covered so i'm going to talk about here number system and base conversion so before knowing bitwise operator you have to know what the binary numbers and how to work so i'm going to cover in this how to convert decimal to binary binary to decimal and binary to octal binary to hexadecimal and uh, many many things many many points important so i hope you're going to watch this whole video hey guys today we are going to learn what is number system and base conversion so what it is basically number system conversion is a fundamental concept in computer science and programming it involves changing the representation of a number from one base to another such as converting a decimal number to binary binary to decimal or a hexadecimal number to binary or binary to hexadecimal so this is the basic concept behind this so there are four type of bases available the first is 2 second 8 and third 10 and fourth 16 so base 2 called binary base 8 called octal base 10 called decimal and base 16 called hexadecimal okay so how to convert a number from one base to another so the first point we are going to see how to convert a decimal number to binary number okay here i take an example of six so six here six is a decimal number and we want to convert a six decimal number to binary number so let's see how we can convert so i created a table of row and column here three column present the first is divisor second is dividend and third is remainder okay so now here i write six because six is the decimal number and i want to convert six into binary numbers so first you you have to write six here in the dividend and you are going to divide by two because you know whatever base we want in the answer we are going to divide from it so here i'm going to divide six from two so when i divide six to two we like i get zero remainder okay so i write zero in the right side of six okay next time because two threes are six so i write here three three times okay so again you have to divide this particular uh, number and until you get one in the dividend so when i again divide three from two so two one jar two and i got one remainder i got one remainder i write in the right side of three so here i have one so i'm again dividing one from two so i got one remainder again so i write it in the right side of each and every dividend zero one one i got remainder zero one one okay cool so how you are going to write zero one one in the binary form okay from the bottom so this is the top this is the bottom in the remainder so we are going to write from the bottom to the top so here i write it first one one zero in the reverse form one one zero base two so yeah we converted successfully six to like decimal number six to binary form so the binary form of six is equals to one one zero okay okay let's take another example 20 so 20 here is a decimal number and i want to convert into binary form i am dividing by 2 because i want to convert in the base 2 so that's why i am dividing here from 2 number so the 20 is a dividend and 2 is a divisor so i am dividing 20 by 2 i got 0 remainder again i am dividing 10 because 2 then 2 10 to 20 so here uh, i get 10 so again i am dividing again and again until i get 1 in the dividend so here i got uh, these remainders i write in, in the right side of dividend 
so how i am going to write these remainder so that i can get a, a correct binding form here starting from bottom to the top so first i write one because this is the uh, in the bottom okay in the bottom so i write one then zero then one then zero zero so you have to write from the bottom to the top so this is the sequence to write in a binary form so whenever you convert in the binary form don't forget to write the base because you know if you writing the base then we can say that we can like we can uh, clearly and easily say that this decimal number because here i, I write it in base base to the 10 to the base 2 so the base 10 to the base 2 because we are converting decimal to binary okay this is the first point we learn how to convert decimal to binary now so uh, in the previous slide we said that how to convert decimal to binary because uh, we take in all only integer numbers okay so this is the uh, here fraction available so we are going to learn how to convert a decimal to binary again with the with uh, here fraction available okay so here uh, i take an example of 10.25 base 10 because this is the decimal number and i want to convert this decimal number to binary number so i again created a three uh, column uh, with the row table so first i write a divisor then dividend then remainder okay i again divided and this is the simple and easy process i hope you understand that you're going to do by yourself and I again found these remainders. So I basically, uh, firstly, I here uh, um, got the binary form of 10 only. Okay. 0.25 we will uh, do in the next step. First, uh, we are finding the binary part of 10 decimal number. Okay. So we get 1010. So the conversion of decimal number to the binary form. Here 10 is the decimal number, we convert it in the binary form 1010. Sorry, I forget the base uh, part here, you can write there, okay. So, this is a very important part here is how to convert fractional part. Because we already learned how to convert an integer part into the binary. So, now let's take a look on how to convert a fractional part in the binary. So first you uh, you can write here a note I written here. So this is a note. Keep multiplying the fractional part. So this is a fractional part and keep multiplying the fractional part with 2 until decimal part 0 0.001 is obtained. Okay. So I uh, we here have it 0.25 is a decimal number. So I write it here 0.25. And I'm going to multiply this number until I'm not getting 0 0.004. Okay, I multiply it by 2, then I get 0 0.050. So this is not look like, like 0 0.00. I again multiplied 0 0.50 into 2 because whatever I get, I I'm going to multiply with this number. 0 0.50 into 2 is equals to I get 1.00. Okay. So yeah, I get in the form of 0 0.00 because we want the integer number. So I get 1.00. So I'm not going to multiply by do in the stop here multiplication process. Okay. So what here we notice we get 0 0.050 and here 1.00. So the first number before the before the dot, before the uh, fraction, before the dot, here we have 1, here we have 0. So we write here 0, we here write 1. So in the integer form, when we try to convert the integer decimal form into, into binary, then we started from bottom to the top, bottom to the top. But here we are writing from top to bottom top to bottom so you write in 0.25 to base 10 this is the decimal number and i converted in the binary number so 0 0.01 the whole 2 so i write it from top to bottom 
so the answer of this conversion 10.25 the base 10 this is the decimal number to the binary form here i write in 10 uh, 10 binary form 1010 and 0 0.25 binary form 01 so this is the answer of this question okay cool okay now we are going to learn how to convert a binary number to decimal number so whatever number you have given uh, in the binary form you have you are going to write here and in the top you are going to write you are going to count these number from zero so, okay so here zero one two three you counted this number okay starting from zero now write equal to one into two two to power three plus zero because here zero write zero into two to power two because you know whatever you write here in the top you're going to uh, add the power same plus one into two to power one plus zero into two to power zero why we are multiplying by two because this is the base this is the base the binary that's why we are multiplying by two and the power 3, 2, 1, 0, here is the power, write it because we are started counting from 0. And after solving this, you can you will get 10, 10 in the decimal form. So we converted 101 1 binary form to the decimal form. This 10 is a decimal number. Okay, take an example here. I take a in the fraction or type the binary number. I want to convert this this binary number to decimal number. Okay, cool. So I write here one zero one zero point zero one. So I again write it in the top zero one two three. Okay, so here is the uh, very important point here. After the fraction, after the fraction, we write it top from starting minus one, minus two, minus three, etc. This, uh, this is the very important point notice here okay now we now we are going to write again with a similar manner pattern in the previous example and after solving this you can get 10.25 so basically i can say that the answer of this question is 10.25 so we converted this binary number to this decimal number okay so we learned about how to convert binary to decimal Now we are going to learn about how to convert decimal to octal. Basically, octal is 8. Okay. So in the first point, we learned how to convert decimal to binary. Binary means 2. Here we are going to learn decimal to octal. Octal means 8. 10 to 8. Okay. So I have taken an example 10.25 base 10 because this is the decimal number because the base is here 10. So I want first learn how to convert 10 decimal 10 decimal number to octal okay because this is very uh, going to easy to understand then we will learn after the fraction point okay i again created a three column i write in a divisor dividend remainder so in the previous uh, point uh, when we learned about how to convert decimal to binary then we divided uh, by two then then there was a divisor two but but in the decimal to octal here i write here divisor 2 divisor 8 sorry divisor 8 cool. so uh, this here 10 is a decimal number i'm going to divide by 8 so these are the remainder it's a very easy process you can you can calculate by yourself so now i write it here 10 decimal number is equals to we get 12 because here from bottom to the top so i write it here 12 base 8 now in the second point we are going to convert fractional part fractional part to octal Not like fractional part of decimal number to octal so this again here note keep multiplying the fraction part with 8 until decimal part 0 0.00 is obtained so after multiplying by 8 we get 2.00 in the form in the part of point zero zero so in the note we already uh, read it keep multiplying the fraction part with eight and the decimal part point zero zero is obtained so we get point zero zero in the type 
0.00 so we get we are not going to multiply by it further okay we are st we stop here so we converted 0.25 in octal form so 0.25 uh, base 10 is equal to 0.2 base 8 so from decimal to 8 so the answer of this uh, question 10.25 decimal is equals to 12.2 okay basically here uh, in the fraction part we taken um, before the dot to before the point so here we take it point 2 only so this is the answer how to convert decimal to octal this is very similar to the uh, previous uh, topic a decimal to binary where on that time uh, we taken a two division and two base okay so next how to convert octal to decimal this is also similar to how to convert binary to decimal here we are using eight instead of two so this is uh, related with this so uh, we can say that quickly we are going to understand so here i take an example 12 12 base 8 this is the octal number we wanted to convert this octal number into decimal so we uh, again uh, we again uh, uh, again the same the processes are here and in the second example 12.2 base 8 that means this octal number we wanted to convert in a decimal form so we can multiply by 8 and there is a power well, uh, power uh, power and we calculated we get answer 12.2 this is the binary this is the octal number to decimal number okay simple so in the next slide we are going to learn how to convert hexadecimal to binary so you already learned uh, the binary form of different numbers okay so to convert from hexadecimal to binary write the four bit binary equivalent of hexadecimal okay so i have created a table uh, here binary given in hexadecimal how to write in the hexadecimal so here 000 is equals to 1 0001 is equals to 1 0010 is equals to 2 so how i am writing in the hexadecimal form because we already learned how to convert the binary form into the decimal form we already learned about how to convert binary form into decimal form so you can you can learn from this okay so after 9 after 9 there is a, a very important point is here how we write 10 number in the hexadecimal form we write from we represent from a how to represent 11 uh, from b how to represent 12 from c how to represent 13 we represent from d 14 we represent uh, e and uh, uh, 15 from f so this is the table here binary equivalent to hexadecimal okay so let's see how to convert 3a this is the hexadecimal because there is a base 16 present how to convert in the binary form because there is a base 2 present okay so binary equivalent of 3 we know 0 0 1 1 so here uh, what we learned to convert from hexadecimal to binary write the 4 bit binary so we write 4 bit so the binary equivalent of 3 is equals to 0 0 1 1 and binary equivalent of a by the equivalent of a 1 0 1 0 now write sequentially so first 3 0 0 1 1 then the binary equivalent of a 1 0 1 0 we write it here so yeah this is the answer how to convert this hexadecimal to binary form so this is this is a i think that this is a very simple answer so we convert it and we get this answer now how to convert binary to hexadecimal so this is simple this is simple because you know you are going to start grouping the bits in groups of four form the right end from the right end okay start grouping the bits in the groups of four from the right end and write the equivalent hexadecimal for the four bit binary and the second point is add extra zeros on the left to adjust the groups for example there is an example available present 
1111011011 okay so what there is a point written start grouping of four bits from the right end so we started from the right end we started from the right end and four bits present here we group this again four bit we uh, taken and we group this again there is a two bits only but we want four bits so what the point is here add extra zeros on the left to adjust the groups so we can add extra zeros in the left side to adjust the group because you know when is when you add zero in the left side this is no changement in the answer okay so now my equivalent we know the 0011 is equivalent to 3 1101 equivalent to d 1011 equivalent to b so you can write sequentially 3 d b this is the answer of this question the binary to hexadecimal that this is the binary form and we converted it to hexadecimal to base 16 i hope you understand now how to convert binary to octal we learned about how to convert binary to hexadecimal binary to decimal now we are going to learn how to convert binary to octal so in the previous previous uh, topic we uh, taken a four uh, group of four bits of group okay but now to convert from binary to octal we start grouping the bits in group of 3 from the right end and write the equivalent octal for the three bit binary so it uh, uh, we taken a le one less bit in the previous topic we taken four bit here we are going to take three bit now the th second point same add zeros on the left to adjust the group when you when you feel like this uh, i am not able to group of three bits then you can add zero on the left side now take from right end three three groups so 101 is a one group 101 is another one group 111 is another group so there is no need to add zeros in the previous uh, like in the left side because we have a three three group present here now 11 is equivalent to 7 because this is a binary equivalent to 7 decimal number how to convert binary to decimal we already learned you can you can you can learn from that and 101 is equivalent to 5 again 101 is equal to 5 so answer of this question is 755 base 8 base 8 sorry this is 8 is a base base means that this is a octal number and here base is 2 this this means that this is a binary number this is a binary number so we wanted to we wanted to convert binary number to octal number so we learn how to convert binary to octal so finally we learn number system and base conversion i hope you enjoy this whole video and you learn how to convert decimal to binary binary to decimal and uh, binary to octal binary to hexadecimal and the hexadecimal to binary like many many things and we learn very in a very easy manner and with very simple steps we learn we talk about different different points so we will meet in the next video very very soon Bye take care